Actually, people say it all the time. Not behind my back or in the corner of a room. Yeah, so we're gonna get on here. My wife, uh, my wife's dead. My heart's broken, but uh, you know, my ears work just fine. So yeah, I hear them say, it's not just one person, no. It's a lot of people, you know, friends, family, <laughs> even coworkers. I must console them to be able to say it to one another, you know? Try to find something good about her death. Like, uh... <laughs> At least we didn't have kids. <laughs> Kids, I'd have someone to share some of this crippling pain with, you know, and maybe sharing it amongst a few people you know, and make it a little more uh, bearable. <laughs> I know, I know, it's, that's bad to say, I guess. Uh, why, why share pain, right? When, when you can absorb it all yourself. I just feel like I'd understand this self-sacrificing concept a little better if I were a father, but, but I'm not. You know? Cause I don't think it's a blessing, you know, that my non-existent children were spared the pain of missing their mom when she died. You know, and I don't think it's a blessing that I was relieved the hardships of raising children by myself. And I, I don't think it's a blessing you know, that I don't have children that might haunt me by looking and sounding and having little mannerisms like her. I just, just one little piece of her. Still alive. 